for? We've got the lady herself, Anita. Show us the museum. Come on then, let's go. So we're just walking now from, from Royal Teas. How long has Royal Teas been running now? Uh, well, it's only been running really three years. Mm -hmm. But it did start originally in 2012. Yeah. Which was uh, the Diamond Jubilee. Yeah. And it started as an event uh, in Stannard, which is a village further up there. Yeah. Uh, and it ran for five months, so it was a five month event. Uh -huh. Wow. For throwing pensioners out. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm being filmed here. Oh, we'll get out of no, It's no, okay, it's okay. <laughs> no, we like to have visitors in the film. <laughs> so you've got so, an, old, an old piece. So this uh, collection goes back nine reigns to George III, who wow. was Queen Victoria's grandfather, who was crowned in 1760. And this is a piece of coronation memorabilia mm -hmm. from 1760. It's a snuff box. Goodness. And inside is his queen, wow. Queen Charlotte. Just beautiful. Now, isn't it? he met Queen Charlotte on the day they were married. Wow. And two weeks later they were crowned. Mm -hmm. So, this is either a wedding memento, but I think it's more likely to be a coronation memento. Uh -huh. And Queen Charlotte, who, of course, this is her painted because she reigned long, long before mm -hmm. photography was invented, 100 mm -hmm. years before photography was invented. Mm -hmm. She was mixed race. Right. She came from Senegal. Wow. Uh, but she was painted white. Is that right? Mm hmm. And so I don't think. She, oh, sorry. Go oh, ahead. Do you think I've had the God's milk? <laughs> did they? <laughs> and the God's milk. Did she come to a sticky end? Is that. No. Was it another Queen Charlotte or Princess no. Charlotte? Princess Charlotte. Princess so, Charlotte, sorry. My wow. mistake. Queen wow. Charlotte. Um, this, is, this is Queen Charlotte. And. Um, this is a window stopper, wow. you know, from the sash windows, yes, yeah. and it would have held the windows up. Yeah. And you can see from this that she had the tight curly hair, yeah. the wide nose, the thick lips yes. of, like, Negroism. Yes. She was dusky, but she was always painted white. Wow. Anyway, she wasn't the first queen of mixed race mm -hmm. because Philippa of Hainault, mm -hmm. who was the wife of Edward III, yeah. who battled the Scots at Eastgate, she was, uh, I was, I'll come down here because there was a thing there that said it, but it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is, this is um, because the Prince of Wales, this Prince Charles, Char Charles theme. the 50th anniversary of him becoming Prince of Wales, the yeah. longest serving Prince of Wales wow. in history in 700 years. And where did we hear about it? Nowhere. Where did the, <laughs> where did the newspapers print it? No. They didn't. Hold on a minute. Let somebody say, oh, Diana was murdered, and let's have it all over the front pages. 50 years of the Prince of Wales, and mm -hmm. nobody celebrates it, apart from me. You heard it here first. Yeah, because <laughs> he is the most underestimated man on the planet, oh, is I Prince totally Charles. Agree with that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> totally agree. And my friend Ellen agrees with that. And if I can tell you this, I'll just say this quickly, because I know yes. we're on to Philippa of Hanol, but I'll just say this quickly. Mm -hmm. If I could project you a hundred years into the future, yeah. when royal historians look back yes. on this era, yeah. the person who saved the monarchy yes. is Camilla, mm -hmm. because Camilla saved Charles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And history will show, history, the truth will out. The truth will out, and it'll show that Camilla, who actually is a very nice lady, and if you haven't read the book by Penny Junior, the Duchess of uh, Blinker, Duchess of Cornwall, then I would say get it yeah. because it, she's, it's an absolutely fantastic book. Uh, and I even sent an email to Penny Junior yes. and said, just read your book, think it's brilliant. And she replied within five minutes and said, well, that's different because I usually get adverse emails. Well, she, anyway, she'll know who you are as well. Uh, no, I don't know whether she does. <laughs> so, Philippa of Hanald was married to Edward III. Mm -hmm. Edward III came to this area to battle the Scots mm -hmm. in um, at Eastgate, and mm -hmm. it was called the Battle of Stannard for some reason. Yeah. Anyway, uh, she was black. Right. She was a black queen. Right. Now, wow. this is something, and I know we're going political and we're going off subject uh -huh. here, uh -huh. but I actually think racism is new. It's a modern affliction, if you like. Mm. They didn't have it yeah. hundreds of years ago. They didn't have it during Victorian times. Uh, Victoria, Victoria herself was completely non-racist, and we know that now. Uh, everyone knows that now through um, the film that was made about uh, Victoria and Abdul. She yes. gave Abdul 
one of the highest positions possible. I did watch that film, it was very moving. Brilliant, brilliant, and it yeah. was all true. In fact, yeah. there's a picture here. Up there, there's Abdul. Is that right? Wow. And there's the Queen. That's Queen Victoria, and that's Abdul that's standing picture. next to her and Incredible, waiting on her. Isn't it? I don't know whether you can see it well, very well. He looks very regal slide. in that, doesn't he? Yes, he was. But here's where we get back to Philippa of Henault, uh, Queen, Queen Philippa. Their son was the second Prince of Wales yeah. in the thir early 1300s. I can't remember the exact date now. Uh -huh. But he was known as Edward the Black Prince. Right. And it was thought that he wore black armour into uh -huh. battle. Well, if he wore black armour into battle, he wouldn't have lasted five minutes, would he? No. Because everyone would have known it was him. Uh -huh. No, it was because he was black. Yeah. So, yeah, Meghan is nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. She's a uh, mixed race, so what? We've had yeah. mixed race in the royals before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um she might be she might be i suppose if she is unique then it's because she's american but yeah. you know who's the who's the biggest supporters of this country she's really good oh, for harry i think yeah <coughs> she's, she's really good for him well, lovely couple yeah. yeah i don't know i don't know whether she is or whether she isn't but i don't care because they're too far removed from the monarchy and mm. i am a monarchist mm -hmm. i'm not a royal super fan mm -hmm. i'm a monarchist and I support monarchies all over the world, not even not just our monarchy, mm. but our monarchy is the only international monarchy in yes, the world. Agreed. Yeah. Everyone else, you know, if, and if you look at the most stable nations in the world, Sweden, Belgium, Denmark, Holland, they all have yeah, monarchies. The Netherlands. And yeah. of course, yeah, the Netherlands, of course. Yes. How did you get the Netherlands? <laughs> I have been there. I've seen the palace. I'm very impressed. But uh, yeah, uh, the most stable nations in the world are monarchies. Yeah. And the best thing about a monarch and, and the best argument for having a monarch is because monarchies are incorruptible. Mm. You can't corrupt the queen with wealth, you can't corrupt with prestige, you can't mm -hmm. corrupt it with anything at all. So here's another question. What's the most unusual piece of royal memorabilia that you have here? Ooh, I've got all kinds of unusual ones. However, this is a one that really stuns people. And it's got a bit of a, it's got a, bit of a story. And, um, yeah, it's... Are you all right to wait? We've got to walk 10 yards and I'm home. All right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, he'll, want, he'll want to hear this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a bit of a story, but I will, I'll try and cut it down. Yeah. Right, we had uh, George III and Queen Charlotte. Mm -hmm. um, George III and Queen Charlotte had 15 children. Nine mm -hmm. of them were sons. Mm -hmm. um, the, the eldest son, we all know, he became the Prince Regent. And and he reigned in his father's name because his father had a um, a condition that made him look like he was mad. Right. He wasn't. It was we can cure it today, but then they, they couldn't. Was so, it porphyria he had? Something like that. Yeah. You're the nurse. You mad know. King yeah. George disease. <laughs> yeah. Was it Mad King George disease? Yes, that's think? right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so George the Fourth became the Prince Regent in his place. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was Prince of Wales. He became the Prince Regent. Mm -hmm. Right. As Prince of Wales. He was a bit of a he was a bit of a lad, you know, like like all young men are. He was a bit of a lad, but his father George III said, right, you know, you gotta get married. You gotta get married, lad, because you know you gotta get married to a princess. You gotta secure the line. You know, you can have other women on the side. We all do, but apart from George III, didn't. George III never had a mistress, and he mm -hmm. was married to Queen Charlotte for over sixty years. Wow. And uh, and he never strayed. Anyway, so the Prince Regent cut a long story short picked a, a girl, Caroline of Brunswick, uh -huh. and didn't see her, of course. There was no uh -huh. photography, there was no nothing. And he sent uh, one of his aides over to Brunswick to meet this, and he, you know, sent a letter back, they go on horseback and across the channel, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, she's okay, she's she's uh, the right blood. Mm -hmm. So he sent her back and said, yeah, you know, ask her to marry us. Yeah. And what used to happen was, if the, if the royal wasn't there, mm -hmm. then his aide, she would have to lie in bed, Princess yeah. Caroline of Brunswick, mm -hmm. she would be laid in bed, and his aide would go into the bedroom and he would bare his knee, mm -hmm. and he'd lift the bedclothes and he'd put his knee under, wow. and if she didn't make a fuss, that was the betrothal, wow. no getting out of that. Right. So the thing was, she was vile. Mm. She why, was vile. Why is that? Well, beauty is only in the eye of the beholder, so I won't say she was ugly, because we don't really know, you know. Mm -hmm. Paint, artists painted them to look nice anyway but she never got washed she right. never changed her clothes she had this habit of bearing her breasts in public wow. and she liked boys right boys and i mean boys oh so uh she was absolutely vile anyway wow. when she arrived at portsmouth the prince regent was there with his aides and he took one look at her and said get me a brandy 
<laughs> no going back, he had to marry her. So the marriage was, you know, quickly organised. He was drunk on his wedding day, he had to get drunk to get through with it. He managed to consummate that marriage. Goodness me. Because the, the Princess of mm -hmm. Wales mm -hmm. fell pregnant. The Princess of Wales gave birth to a beautiful baby who was called Princess Charlotte. And when um, when is this going back to? Which 1817. 1817. 1817. 1817. Um, no, it wasn't 1817 at all. It was, um, it was 1790. I think it was 1796. I've 1796. The dates have gone out. It was the yeah. end of the, it was the end of 1700s anyway. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, they had this beautiful girl, a Princess Charlotte. She did actually grow up to be the darling wow. of the country. She, was, she wasn't She was just, you know, a, a beautiful girl. She was beautiful inside. Oh. And uh, and she, was, she, she used to go out and meet mm -hmm. the people and they absolutely loved her. Mm -hmm. They couldn't wait for her to mm -hmm. become queen. Mm -hmm. This was going to be a revolution, you mm -hmm. know, a, a new queen. Anyway, um, in the meantime, this is a baby and the Prince of Wales is not having the Princess of Wales anywhere near him, so mm -hmm. he banished her out of Kensington Palace. Mm -hmm. And she ended up on the continent uh, really running about with boys and right. having an affairs with boys. However, the country was behind the Princess of Wales. Yes. The country thought that he was horrible how he treated her, the Prince of Wales. Look what he's done to her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't know about all the affairs she was having. They maybe wow. knew about some, but anyway, they weren't bothered. Yeah. It was the Princess of Wales they were behind. They decided that they didn't like the Prince of Wales, and that was that. Wow. So, anyway, um, 1817 comes along, and um, Princess Charlotte in, in 1816 had married Prince Leopold of the Belgians that would right. become even more well known in uh -huh. the future years. But uh -huh. she married Prince Leopold. It was a right. wonderful wedding. The whole wow. country rejoiced. Uh -huh. She fell pregnant and on November the 5th, 1817, she gave birth to a huge baby boy who was, a, who was very overdue. Which is and the same as your birthday, of yes, course. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, that's how I remember it. But he was stillborn. Uh -huh. And um, she hemorrhaged and she died in the early hours of Goodness. November the 6th. So that was that. Now was the this whole this country. is this is before Guy Fawkes or afterwards? Oh, it was it was after Guy yeah, Fawkes. After Guy yeah, Fawkes, yeah, Fawkes that so, was, um, so, bon, so bonfire night would have already existed. Yes, that's right. Yes, right. it did. So, but people weren't celebrating because uh -huh. the baby had died and then she died later. And the pottery manufacturers they manufactured all kinds of in memoriam things. This is one of them. That's the saucer that goes with the cup. Wow. It shows Britannia crying. Wow. And it shows Princess the Charlotte morning. ascending Goodness. to heaven. Wow. And on it it says Beautiful, the Great British Hope. They wow. lost the Great British Hope. There's oh. the cup. And uh, and they were just absolutely devastated. Mm -hmm. It was a it's, huge funeral. It's so interesting to see this because usually we see a lot of you know commemoration memorabilia things that we rejoice. But yes. it's, it's interesting to see you know the, the grief side of it as well. Yes, well they mm -hmm. were they were in total shock because mm -hmm. you know the Princess Charlotte she she died. So Ellen has to go. But thank you very much for joining I'm us. So sorry, I've got to go. It was lovely even, to see you. Even though this let me, is very let me give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> No. Go. Yeah, because we're all the way Right, okay. I'll come I'll come out. All right. I'll just leave that parliamentary register. We'll so, Anita, back. thank you very much for that. Uh, for that. Parliamentary register. We'll come back to the parliamentary register right. another time. Okay. Bye for now. Okay.